A couple of nights ago, we spoke to a woman called Merlina Pavlos Hackney. She's a restaurant owner from Michigan. She came on the show to tell us how authorities in Michigan, the governor and the attorney general, were trying to send her to jail for running her business. And she warned us that Americans need to fight against authoritarianism like this, or the United States will come to resemble the country she fled decades ago, communist Poland. We, the people, small business owners, like I told you, we have to fight. And I will fight for freedom for American people. And I encourage everyone, business owners, other people, stand up and fight for your freedom before it's going to be taken away. We have an update for you tonight on that story, and it's a sad one. Marlena Pavlos Hackney is in jail. She was arrested very early this morning, before 6 a.m., by police, taken away in ankle shackles and wrist cuffs. One of the few people in this country who gets up really early to go to work because she really cares, trying her very hardest, and they grabbed her and they sent her away for longer than people who commit gun crimes in Detroit get. We're told she will be in jail for 93 days unless she pays a $35,000 fine and the Michigan Board of Health deems it safe for her to be released. She's not going to pay. She shouldn't pay. Marlena's restaurant has also been ordered closed until the Michigan State Health Department decides it can open again. By the way, when this happened, the attorney general of Michigan, who's completely out of control and utterly political, Dana Nessel, issued a press release bragging that she had been arrested like some dangerous felon had been pulled off the street. The county judge who did this, Rosemary Aquilina, defended the arrest, saying that huh, Pavlos Hackney, quote, has put the community at risk. We're in the middle of a pandemic. By the way, they presented zero evidence that she had any role in the pandemic. None. No scientific evidence whatsoever. But they want you to know that defiance is the real crime. So people can come here from foreign countries, rush the border, sent out with no penalty whatsoever. Whether or not they have COVID doesn't matter. They're not even tested. They go right into your neighborhood. Nobody cares. But if you try your level best, your hardest to run a business and do the right thing, you go to jail. Marlena Pavlos Hackney, remember the name. We wish her well. We hope she gets out soon.